What's up guys, Justin here with the CGEssentials.com back with another Blender architectural modeling tutorial for you. So in today's video, I thought we'd start a series where we talk through how to create architectural models using just the native tools inside of Blender. So you can use these architectural models to represent different floor plans and other things like that. But let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so first things first, what we need to do is we need to get a floor plan image in, in order for us to use it as kind of a reference point inside of our model. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by enabling a built-in add-on in Blender called import images as planes. So if you just do a search for images, it'll show up in here, import images as planes. And so what we want to do is we want to import a floor plan image into Blender. So the way that we're going to do that is we're just going to do a shift A. And if you have that enabled, then you're going to be able to bring in an image right here, and we wanna bring in specifically images as planes. All right, so you wanna to navigate to the folder and you wanna find that image. And if you wanna download this image and follow along, I will make it available on my website at the cgessentials.com slash floor plan. So you can download that and follow along. But what we wanna do is we're just gonna bring this file in right here. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna import this as a file. I don't know why it brought it in twice, so we'll just delete one of those and we'll be fine. And so what we wanna do, first off, is we wanna lay this down. So I'm gonna move my Bonnie model off to the side. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna rotate this. I'm just gonna do an R, Z, 180. And then I'm gonna do an R, Y, 90, and hit the Enter key. And so what that's done is that's allowed me to rotate this so that it's laying down. And so now what we need to do is we need to scale this image so that the lengths of our walls are actually the proper length. And so what I wanna do is I wanna draw an edge that's the length of one of these walls, and then I wanna align my image to that length in order to make sure that it's the proper size. So the first thing I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna set my units to Imperial. I know a lot of people aren't using Imperial, but that's what we use here in America. So that's what I'm gonna set this to. You can do this in metric as well. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set my length to feet. And then I need to enable an add-on that allows me to add a line. So right now, for example, there's nothing really in here that lets me just create a line to a certain length, which is kind of odd to me about Blender. Um, I wish they would add a tool that's just a line tool. But what we can do is we can go to Edit, Preferences, and we can enable an add-on that comes built into Blender called Extra Objects. So Add Mesh Extra Objects. So you wanna make sure that's enabled. Well then, if you do a Shift A, and you go into mesh, you can see how there's an option in here for single vertex. And so what I wanna do is I just wanna click on the button for add single vertex. And so what that did is that placed a single individual vertex at the point wherever your 3D cursor was. And so notice how you can see it over here. Well, what I wanna do is I wanna tab into edit mode like this. I wanna hit the one key to make sure that I'm in vertex select mode over here, we wanna make sure that this vertex is selected. Well now, what I wanna do is I wanna extrude this to whatever length I'm gonna set my um, set my scale to. So in this case, we're gonna do something very simple and we're just gonna tap the E key. We'll tap the Y key to lock it to the green axis and we wanna type in a value of 12 feet and hit the inner key. Um, and you can see how this put this in the wrong direction. I'm gonna set this to negative 12 feet and then it'll put it in the other direction. So now what we have is we have a reference edge that we can use. So what I wanna do is I wanna tab back out of edit mode. I'm gonna go into object mode. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to move this image so that this corner point right here aligns with this point right here. So I'm just gonna tap the G key and I'm just gonna move this until it aligns with the end of my edge, like this. And so once it's aligned, what I can do is I can scale this image up so that this wall aligns with the end of my line right here. So I'm just gonna tap the S key. I'm just gonna scale this up until this is aligned with this point right here. And so you do wanna make sure that you're aligning the proper point of the wall. So you can see how this got off just a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move this over 
right here so that it's aligned. I'm just going to scale it up again. And you may have to do a couple iterations of this to make sure that this lines up properly. And one thing that might help you is going into straight up and down view like this. And you can test this to make sure that it's right by just uh, doing a shift right click and just set your 3D cursor right here and then do a shift A and add another single vertex in here. And we're just going to tab in edit mode, make sure we have this selected and we're just going to extrude this along the Y axis. And we're just going to make sure that if we were to extrude this all the way to the wall, that the value in the upper right or in the upper left hand corner is very close to 12. So you can see how if I was to draw a vertex right here, this would give me basically a 12 foot long wall. Well, because of that, now we know that our model is to scale. Well, then once our model is to scale, we can come in here and we can start adding um, our different walls. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to set my 3D cursor to a point. So in this case, I'm just going to do a shift right click and I'm just going to set it right here. I'm going to go ahead and delete out my original vertex that I had in here, as well as this other vertex that's in here. And I'm just going to start modeling out my wall. And so there's a couple different ways that you can do this. Um, so the first way is you could come in here and you could just start drawing vertices. Um, but that can be a little bit time consuming. What I want to do instead is I just want to do a shift A. I just want to add a plane. And so notice how when this plane gets brought in, um, I can start scaling the plane in order to fit so that it's actually aligned with this wall. So I'm just going to move this right here. And one thing I find helpful is you can, once you get a wall in here, you can turn on vertex snapping. So you can just click on snap and turn on vertex snapping. And then your walls will start, uh, it'll start snapping to each other. But let's not worry about that too much for right now. And generally what I find is the easiest way to do this is just to tab into edit mode and just start selecting vertices and moving your wall. So you can see I can move these vertices. I can move this along the X axis. So G, X, and then click. And then I can do a G, Y, and then click right here. Then I can do an E to extrude and a Y, and I can extrude this over here. And so you can see how my wall is about six inches thick, which is correct um, based on what's actually shown in here. But then all we're going to do is we're just going to keep extruding these vertices out. So I'm just going to do an E, X, and we're going to extrude to right here. And then we're going to extrude again where our door is. And so what that does is that allows us to effectively set the width of our door in here. So I'm just going to type in a value of three feet, for example. Um, so what we're doing is we're blocking out this door so that we have this here for later. So I'm just going to do an E, X, we'll extrude to here. E, X, 0.5. And so I'm just going to extrude this all the way around. And um, I'm going to do the same thing for my windows here where I extrude to this point. And then I extrude another wall right here. That way this is all going to be kind of split up the way that we want it. So I'm going to speed up this part of the video and then we can come back and take a look at this. And so notice how this corner point is one point where the snapping is helpful. So I have tapped the E key and then the X key to lock it to the X axis, but I can click on this point right here in order to align that with this point right here because the snapping is enabled. So I can do an E, X, and I can just extrude this over here so that that's enabled. Then I can take these two edges and I can, I can just move them on the Y axis so that they align right here. And so what we've done is we've basically come in here and we've created a wall that we can extrude into 3D. And so one thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move my floor plan up so that it aligns with this wall because it was slightly below before. But then what I wanna do is I just wanna come in here and I wanna start extruding my wall pieces into 3D. So in this case, for example, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tab into edit mode with that wall selected. And then I just wanna come in here and start selecting faces. So I'm just gonna select these faces like this. And notice how I'm not going to select the faces where I have any kind of um, any kind of door. 
because I don't want this to go into 3D with my doors. But let's go ahead and extrude these. So we're just gonna select them, and then we're gonna do an E, Z, um, to lock that to the Z axis. And then we wanna type in a value of, let's say this is gonna have a height of 10 foot, just for the sake of this video. So we're just gonna type in a value of 10 feet and leave that as is. And so what we wanna do is we just wanna go all the way around and just select all of these and do that same thing. So we can do it with the windows, and so I'm just gonna select the walls that don't have an opening in them. We'll touch on the windows in a second, but for right now, we just wanna select all of these that are solid wall. And we just wanna extrude them to 10 feet. So we're gonna do an E, Z, and in this case, I'm just gonna move my mouse over this point right here. That's gonna allow me to set my wall right here. So. And it looks like I extruded one window up. So what we can do in that case is we can just uh, type the two key and then just do a shift click. And so we're gonna do a shift click and we're gonna select these two edges and then we're gonna hit the X key. And we can do a dissolve edges. So that way um, the window right there is no longer all the way up. But then what we wanna do is we wanna finish modeling out our door and window openings. So what I'm gonna do in this situation is I'm gonna type the three key. Notice I'm still in edit mode. And I'm just gonna extrude this up the height of my door. So E, Z, and my door is gonna be seven feet high. So we'll just type in seven feet. Then we'll extrude it again, E, Z, to the top of the wall. Well then what we can do is we can come in here and we can type X and we can do a delete faces on both of these. So X, faces in order to delete those out. What that's done is that's given us our full wall right here. So then for my windows, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna extrude those up to the bottom height of my window. So I'm just gonna do an E, Z, and make sure that you've only picked up those floor faces like this. And so for some reason, I've got a weird situation where a face in here is um, acting as two faces. So when I select it, it's picking them both up. I'm not 100% sure why that's happening. So I'm just gonna do an X and I'm just gonna delete out those faces. And then I'll just draw. And then what I'll do is I'll just come in here and I'll just select the edges right here and tap the F key to fill that in. And then for this one, I'll just do the same thing. So probably what I need to do, because I don't think I have an edge in here anymore, is I'm just going to extrude this across right here. I'll extrude this across right here. And then I'm just gonna tap or select those four vertices and tap the F key in order to fill that in. So you may have to do a little bit of fixing in here, but not really a giant deal. What I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna do a shift click, select all my windows like this. And then I'm just gonna extrude them up. Whoops, I'm gonna tap the Z key. And I'm gonna extrude these up, maybe we'll call it three feet. And then we'll extrude them up again by whatever the height of our windows is. We'll go ahead and call it five feet for right now. And then we'll just extrude this again to the height of my wall. All right, so then we're just gonna come in here. We're gonna delete out these faces. So we're just gonna do an X faces. X faces. Notice that does leave you with some gaps in your model. So all you need to do to fix that is just tap the two key to go into edge select mode. You just select these and just tap the F key in order to fill them in. So notice how when I select these, then tap F, it fills in a face right there. So there may be a better way to do that, but I'm not 100% sure on what it is. So we're just gonna do that this way for right now. All right, so then I'm just gonna do the same thing over here. So just tap the three key, select the face, extrude up. And notice how you can use the snapping on the other hand, other side of your model in order to set the height right here. So snapping is very useful. I really like using it, but we're just gonna do an X faces, X faces. We're gonna make sure this hole is filled in by tapping the F key. All right, so then we'll just do the same thing with our walls on the inside of our building. So the process is gonna be pretty much exactly the same. So again, I'm just gonna speed this up just so you can see what we're doing for right now. Um, but remember, you're just gonna get your wall width in here. 
then and one thing I will know is I like to put those in as a separate object so instead of having them be the exterior wall I like to add my own object in here so again we'll just do the same thing we'll just do a shift right click in order to put our 3d cursor in here and going to top down mode might help but we're just going to do a shift right click to set our 3d cursor we'll do a shift a and we'll set our mesh as a plane one thing you want to do is make sure that you're aligned with the floor right here but then we'll just tab in edit mode go into vertex select mode and we'll just move this so that it aligns with our wall. And remember, vertex select mode can be very, or vertex snapping can be very helpful for this. So I'm just gonna select these, tap the G key and the Y key, and I'm just gonna mouse over this corner um, in order to set this so that it aligns with the wall. All right, notice how I accidentally put this up high. All I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna tab into um, edit mode or object mode, and I'm just gonna move this down just by doing a G, Y. So not a big deal. Then we're just gonna come to the inside and we're just gonna do the same thing we did before, where we're gonna select our walls, and we're gonna extrude them so that they're aligned right here. All right, so now our walls are all blocked out. In the next video, we will talk about adding doors and windows to the frames that we've created right here. So leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this series. I'm excited to talk a little bit more about architecture on the channel. So if you like what I'm doing in this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. I will leave a link to that in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.